Hello everyone, I hope everything is going well in CSS. Today's lesson is an important one. I will explain a style that helps you to create a space around elements. This style called margin. And also I will explain another style called padding to add a space around elements content. Not the element itself like margin. So keep watching to understand the difference between padding and margin well. So let me start with margin. But before we start, let me explain the HTML code. I have here three divisions. First one, second one, and here third one. And each one has a class. First, second, third. The first one and the third one, each one has a paragraph. And the second one has a picture. And also I add some style for the third one, background, width, and height. So let me see how we can add margin. So simple. Let me just select the element. So I will add margin for the first division. So first and margin. And we have to specify four values. The first value is margin from top. So how many spaces that we want to specify from top? For example, let me make it 10 pixels then from right so from right we can make it 15 percent or 15 pixels then from bottom so which will make it 5 pixels and finally from left and let me make it 20 pixels that we see now so there is a space from top 10 pixels and then from right but we can't notice from right because there is no element in the right from bottom here there is a space between the paragraph and the picture 5 pixels and finally from left here is 20 pixels let me change here the value from bottom and make it 50 pixels nice so there's a space here 50 pixels we can specify it in this shape or we can just make one value so 10 pixels will be for all direction from top left bottom and right so let me make it for example 100 pixels we can also make it in this form and here 50 pixels so this value will be for the top and the bottom and this value will be for right and left that we see so now from left and right is 50 pixels and from top and bottom is 100 pixels which will make it 30 nice also we can specify each one individually so I can make this 30 pixels for margin lift so it's just from left and also I can specify another margin but this time let me make margin top and make it 100 pixels nice so we can specify it individually or specify all of them together so that's how you can specify a margin there is also another value called udo udo means that the browser horizontally center the element within its container. What does this mean? Let me, for example, display this picture in the center of the page. 
so I have to select this division second division and let me make margin and make it Udo uh, let me see what will give us so nothing new happened because we have to specify a width we have to make a width for this division like I told you that Udo center the element according to its container so I have to specify a width first so width uh, let me make it for example 500 pixels let me see nice so now the picture displayed in the center of the page but you see here a horizontal scroll bar so to remove this like I told you in the last lesson we have to use max width nice so it will follow the screen width there is also another value called inherit inherit means that the content will take the same margin that its container had for example here the first division has a margin left 30 pixels so I will make a margin for the paragraph and make it inherit let me see what will happen so dot first p and let me make margin lift equal to inherit so let me see now so the division has margin lift 30 pixels so the paragraph got another 30 pixels margin left so, it's, so, so now the margin for the paragraph is 60 pixels if we here decrease the margin and make it 20 pixels let me see okay so now the margin for the paragraph is 40 pixels if we remove this So the margin for the paragraph should be 20 pixels. Let me see. Nice. So inherit give the element the same margin that added to the container. Finally, let me see how we can add padding and the difference between padding and margin. So to make padding like margin. So for the third one, let me make padding. So padding, so from top let me make it 10 pixels, from right let me make it 5 pixels, from bottom let me make it 15 pixels, and finally from left let me make it 20 pixels. So as you see now the space added to the paragraph, not for the division so padding add a space for the elements content not for the element itself so also we can specify padding using just one value so it will be for all directions like this or we can make it two values So this one for the top and bottom and this one for the right and left. Nice. So now the difference between padding and margin. Padding add the space to the element's content. But margin add the space to the element. Let me add a margin to see the difference. So margin and make it margin for example Udo. So let me see if the margin will be added for the paragraph 
or for the whole division. So as you see now, the whole division displayed in the center. So the space add to the division itself, not for the paragraph. So that the focal difference between both of them. This is everything in this lesson. We have seen how we can create margin, how we can use it to center an element, how to add padding to an element, and the difference between both of them. So if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me. Good luck and see you next time.